Hey everyone, it's me, Joseph Perrette, and you're watching my new video series, How to Build Your Own ADU Garage Conversion. What is the number one mistake homeowners make with the cabinets in their ADU? You'll have to watch the entire video to find out. But before you install cabinets in your ADU, you need to design your ADU. I have designed and built more than 50 ADUs in the past year. And I also do construction in the greater Los Angeles area. So if you have any questions at all about architectural design or construction, visit my website, josephperrette.com. It has a ton of information and it's linked down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. It helps a ton. And now, let's talk about the number one mistake homeowners make with the cabinets of their ADU. In this week's video, we'll be talking about kitchen cabinets for your ADU garage conversion. This garage is an existing 370 square feet. We are converting this garage into a one bedroom, one bathroom ADU. Okay, so we finally get to talk about cabinets, one of my favorite parts of the ADU. Totally customizable, which is what is so fun about the cabinets. The first thing you wanna talk about when you're designing your cabinets is the linear feet of the cabinets. In this case scenario, we have linear feet, nine feet, and we ended up deciding to do a push out of an L-shaped kitchen, which is another four feet. So we have 13 linear feet to play with here. The next thing you wanna talk about is the different types of kitchen cabinets and how it's built. So when you have kitchen cabinets, you mainly have three options. The first option is very prefabricated. You're gonna get this either uh, from China, from Ikea, or from like a Home Depot or HD Supply. Um, pros and cons, right? Pros and cons is that it's affordable. It's actually very cheap but the cons are the sizes are not custom. So you're gonna have to stick with 12 inches, 18 inches, 24 inches. Usually if you have a lot of linear feet, you can have those options. You can do 12, 18, 24, 30 inches and 36 inch boxes. But when you have such a small ADU, it's better to go for something like a semi-custom. Now what semi-custom is, is that we're actually building the boxes. So we can pros, is that we can actually choose the sizes of the panels and the boxes. And pros is it's built in a shop, very local. So you can pick the color. We actually designed this ADU as a semi-custom kitchen cabinet. Your next option above that is fully custom. Now, when I talk about fully custom, it's kind of the same thing. It's locally built. You can choose the sizes of all the boxes and the panels. You can choose the type of panels. You can choose a lot when it comes to custom kitchen cabinets. The pros is again, you can pick out all of your trash pullouts. You can have your microwave in the cabinets. You can also do spice cabinets. You can do a lot with custom kitchen cabinets. The cons, it takes very, very long to build custom kitchen cabinets. And also, it's expensive. So keep that in mind. A lot of times I tell people to do semi-custom kitchen cabinets. Now, everyone always asks me, what is the color of these cabinets? The color is evergreen fog. The client chose the color and I think it came out beautiful. So like and comment if you like this and tell me what color you would have chosen for your custom kitchen cabinets. Guys, very quickly, all these cabinets open. They're soft closed cabinets. Again, guys, we have a really nice mix of kind of drawers and also shelving. I think we chose a lot of the bottom ones for the drawers and we have really nice shelving on top here. We ended up choosing not a Lazy Susan, but an area here to have all of our pots and pans. It's almost like a Lazy Susan, but we ended up choosing not to do one. Um, and then again, same thing kind of here. Uh, usually we have some dead space up there, but you can totally put in a bunch of stuff. I think my client put in a coffee maker in the corner there. Uh, tons of space over my fridge. And everything up to here is semi-custom. So we chose the box sizes, we chose the panel sizes and the panel design. But right here, we did a custom piece. So come check it out. 
Usually we would open something here for maybe a broom closet, but we wanted some extra storage. So we're able to open it up here to have some more storage here and as well up here. So again, this piece costs a lot of money. This is a $1,500 piece. But I think it's really important when you have some extra space here, instead of giving an extra six inches to the countertop, you give it an, another six inches of cabinet spaces and you get to do a really, really nice custom piece here. So I hope people really liked it because it's expensive, but I think it does really well for our kitchen. The last thing that I will talk about is really quickly is the finish of the cabinets. So these finishes right here, again, they're gold. Uh, you can pick these out from any hardware supply. You can buy them custom or not. Um, again, you can buy a 30 piece on Amazon for like $2 each, or you can buy really, really nice ones for four or $5 each. Um, you'll see in our vanity, we have like an $80 one. So don't go crazy on the finishes, um, but always buy extra and always buy something that's affordable. And I, I actually really like how we kind of designed two different kinds. Um, we designed one for the drawers and one for the shelving. Um, a, to change up the design a little bit, but B, also to know which one is a drawer and which one is a shelf. It is very important to do custom cabinets. One of the main reasons is because a lot changes in between the plumbing and the cabinets. Right now we are going to make holes in our cabinets for our copper piping. So come check it out. We already measured everything. So all we have to do is a quick little hole. This way we're gonna create holes for our cabinets uh, for our copper plumbing. The number one mistake homeowners make with cabinets on their ADU is not doing custom kitchen cabinets. I always do semi-custom kitchen cabinets because it's a really small space and I wanna make sure that the kitchen is the heart of the ADU. Now let me walk you through it really quick. We have drawers down here. We have a microwave hood here and a dual cabinet on the microwave hood, making sure that everything is centered. After here, we also have some extra drawers. So again, center on the drawers of the oven. Then we're gonna have cabinets here for our sink. Make sure that we don't have so much space under our sink, but at least some utility. We also have space here for our cabinets and also up here. These are all custom sizes. And again, they cost a little bit more, but I wanna make sure that there's enough storage in the kitchen and that's some bonus. So of course we always have on top of our fridge, but right here we have some bonus space. We had about six or eight inches to kill before the door and the homeowner wanted something special. So we built this box special for her. Now, the other thing, when you have custom kitchen cabinets, you can actually paint them. I see so many ADUs with very basic white cabinets. When you do custom cabinets, you can paint them and that's really a fantastic color. Look at this green that came out. I'll link down below for what color this cabinet is. Also, when you're doing custom cabinets, you have the opportunity to put more cabinets in other places, like this washer dryer unit that I hid right behind some beautiful cabinets that are the same as my kitchen and some space on top of my washer dryer for storage. Thanks again for watching the video. If you like what you just saw, I offer a comprehensive course on how to build an ADU garage conversion as an owner builder. Just go to josephperetz.com for all your ADU needs. The course is going to save you thousands of dollars and hours of headaches. And again, remember, like, subscribe, and share this video. Comment down below anything you need for your ADU and check out all my social media. Again, guys, thanks so much for watching the video and I'll catch you on the next one.